Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to send in your Bible questions, and if you do, I will attempt to give you a Bible answer. Please keep your questions Bible-related because this is a Bible-focused, Bible-centered ministry. I am all about the Word of God teaching it verse by verse from Genesis through Revelation at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, which is found at thebibleversebyverse.com, and attempting to answer your Bible questions. I'll give you the address at the end of the broadcast today where you can send any questions that you might have. Question today from a listener. Hey, Pastor, in Matthew twenty-eight nineteen, the Great Commission, Jesus instructs his disciples to teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Then in Acts 2.38, Peter instructs them, of course, to repent, but to be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins. Some say we need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, like Peter said in Acts 2.38. Others say, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as Jesus said in the Great Commission. I think I know, but could you explain it at your convenience whenever you can, Pastor? Thank you. Well, thank you for this question. I am familiar with the Oneness Churches, at least the United Pentecostal Church. They teach a lot on Acts 2.38. In fact, that is the main focus of their entire organization. Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so that's where they get their baptism in Jesus' name. In fact, they even say that if you are baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, that you have not received Christian baptism. And in their case, that's extremely important because if you're not baptized and you're not baptized by immersion and you're not baptized in the name of Jesus, you're not saved. It doesn't matter if you repent of your sin, if you ask Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, you're not saved. And oh yeah, by the way, just as a footnote, they also believe that you have to speak in tongues to be saved. And so there's some real problems with that church. But back to to your question on baptism in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, or baptism in Jesus' name. Jesus, in Matthew 28, gave us the formula. And what do you do with the formula? That's right, you follow it. Jesus said, go into all the world and baptize in the name of in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's the formula that we are supposed to follow. Jesus, or I should say, Peter in Acts 2.38, when he said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, he is talking about the authority of Jesus Christ. He is not giving the formula. He is saying, baptized, Baptize people in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptize people with the authority of Jesus Christ. But baptize them, of course, according to the formula in Matthew 28, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So that's talking about the authority of Jesus. While Jesus gives us the formula in uh, Matthew 28. And by the way, they do believe in the oneness doctrine, which is that Jesus is the Father, Jesus is the Son, Jesus is the Holy Spirit. They copy and paste a lot of scriptures to reach that point. It is an old heresy called modalism, which is simply teaching that God appears or reveals himself in three modes, not three distinct persons. That heresy was rejected by the early church years and years ago, shortly after the church began. I hope that helps. If you have questions for me, send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Until next time, so long, everyone.